Here is a thinking problem on length and midpoint. Find the point on y-axis that is equidistant from minus 5 minus 2 and 3 comma 2. Try to do your problem and then see the solution. Okay? This is how I would like to approach. The point on y-axis could be what? x value is 0 on y-axis. Okay? So we say let the point on y-axis be x will be 0 and some y value. Let's say y in general. Okay? Now we say equidistance means same distance from this and same distance from that. Correct? So let's say distance of this point 0 y from the point minus 5 minus 2 should be same as distance of this point from 3 comma 2 correct so distance formula is we'll apply the distance this distance is how much is square root of a x1 minus x2 which is uh, 0 minus we'll do plus 5 square plus y minus this becomes plus 2 square right square and here the distance will be 0 minus 3 square plus y minus 2 square, right? Square. And both the distances, they say, should be equal, right? So we'll equate them. Well, if the square root is equal, that means if we square both sides, then also they should be equal, correct? So next step will square both sides. And then we are left with 5 square is 25 here. We'll square this, which is y square plus 2ab, right? 4y plus 4, 2 square is equals to, and here 3 square is 9 plus, we'll expand this, right? y minus 2 whole squares, which is y square minus 2 times ab, which is 4y plus 4. I hope you remember the formula which we are using here. We are using a plus b or a minus b, whatever the case may be, a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab, okay, 2ab plus b square, right? And if it is minus, if it is minus, then this becomes minus. Do you see that? If it is plus, we use plus. So that's the formula to be used here. Or you could expand it, right? do foil or you can do just a plus b times a plus b right and expand and get the result. simplify you will get it correct now we when we want to solve this we'll bring y's on one side y square y square will cancel out as you can say 4 y is here minus 4 y we'll bring y's on this side and so we are left with 4 y and this minus 4 y comes to set becomes plus 4 y equals to the numbers here we'll add 9 plus 4 is 13 and 25 plus 4 is 29 so we'll bring here minus 29 correct okay? 4y plus 4y is 8y and 13 minus 29 is minus of 9 take away 3 is 6 and 2 take away 1 correct okay? so y equals to minus 16 over 8 which is minus 2. Now, y goes to minus 2. Therefore, the point is 0, y, right? So the point is, therefore, 0, comma minus 2 is equidistant from both the points, correct? Okay? That is our answer.